Hi, my name's Claire Norman and it's great to have a few minutes to talk today about something that's really important to me. Uh, I live not too far from here, I don't know if you can see the spire of St Saviour's Church, but that's an area of Walthamstow that's become known as the Lighthouse Quarter, and uh, that's, that's where I live. One of the great things about living there is how near I, uh, I am to this space here, which is the marshes, uh, Leighton Marsh, Walthamstow Marsh and Hackney Marsh. And I just, I love this area of London. I know that I'm not alone in saying that almost everybody in the area ex is able to come down here and experience these marshes for the, I think, quite unique space uh, that it is. And um, being on this particular boardwalk at the moment reminds me of one of the really nice interchanges I had a couple of years ago on the marshes. Um, I had actually had slightly bad news that day. I didn't get a job that I really wanted. And uh, it was just one of those really grueling processes. And in the end, they actually withdrew the position. So I took that call and I was a bit depressed and the first thing I did was head out of the door and come down to the marshes here. Um, I was walking along this boardwalk and there was a bunch of girls, I don't know, maybe about 15, and they were doing some sort of project on the marshes for, the, for their school. And they couldn't answer one of the questions and, and they asked me about it. And before long I was just sort of kind of giving them a little bit of a sermon about the marshes, about the fact that not far from here in well, 105 years ago the first all British flight happened and I think it was 900 feet or something that this plane managed to fly for. And they were just thanking me for their time and we had a great conversation. And I actually said to them, oh, you know, this has been really, really lovely. I just sort of had a bit of bad news about a job. And they all hugged me. And it was just, it just really redeemed the day. And it's, that's what I remember about that day, actually. Not the stupid job, but just how, how lovely this space is and how it gives people the, the chance to interact on a really genuine and, and honest level. And I think that's one of the things that, that green spaces afford people, which is to get away from their lives a little bit, leave a bit of stress behind and, and, re, and recharge. Um, there's a little acronym that might sound a little bit naff, but I, I kind of believe in it, and it's called the NHS, and that's the Natural Health Service. And given that uh, not moving around these days, how, how immobile our lives have become, is now sort of um, making itself known in all sorts of psychological and, and, and health issues. The fact that we have these green spaces to come into and recharge, make ourselves feel psychologically better and even healthier, is massively important. And that's one of the things that's really, really important. For me the marshes are really important and valuable precisely because they don't have the, the pristine aesthetic of, for example, Regent's Park. Some of them are a little bit scruffy and actually that's what I really, really value. They're a comfortable local place that I can come and enjoy. However, I'm afraid that we can't take these spaces for granted. Green public open spaces or, or the lungs of a city as they're referred to are immensely important but people value them for, for different reasons. And it's incredibly unfortunate and I think actually outrageous that there are bodies and organisations exist who will walk around places like this and think actually we can turn a quick buck here. And the things that we've seen happening, particularly in the aftermath of the Olympics, I'm thinking of two sites specifically, and that's what happened when, when they removed uh, the structure that was used for the basketball courts and the removal of the golf course. And if you walk around that area now, it just makes you really, really angry because it's really clear that there's an agenda at play and that is to run the area down so that somebody can come in with a business plan and entirely change what the previous use had been, which was a free, valuable open space for everybody in the area. So while I absolutely love the marshes, I, I really, really have to say I massively appreciate the work and the effort that various campaigning groups have done to make sure that these spaces remain open, that they remain green, that they remain accessible and as interesting and unique as they are, obviously not just for us but for the generations in the future.